Welcome back to Harvestella. So we're still in the Castle of Illusion. We're trying to get to the top floor so that we can confront Geist, who's like in the core room or something. I don't really know, but there's like two levels to this place. So we did explore quite a lot already, but there's even more to explore here. So <laughs> looks like we're not done with this place for quite a while. That's all right though. We, it's only like 4 p.m. So we got quite a lot of time to look around. Four security systems guard the path to the Genesis core. I see. Okay, so we go through each of these four rooms and then we like deactivate the system, I guess. I don't really know. I guess we'll have to find out as we go, but things are getting kind of interesting with the story now. So yeah, it's picking up a little bit, I feel like, but we've definitely made quite a bit of progress in this game. So it's to be expected, I suppose. All right. On guard, you silly omens. All right, there we go. Let's get a support type two as well. I think it must be like a healer or something. I'm not entirely sure, but it's all good. Health is looking a bit low. Let's use two of those. That'll be good. Okay, let's go through this door then and see what we can find. I'm probably gonna, yep, a lot more, a lot more crazy shenanigans to uh go through here lots of laser beams and things like that am i safe here and i guess i'm safe in this corner okay that's good <laughs> i'm actually glad because i definitely would have been caught otherwise <laughs> so that worked out pretty well for me i feel like so that's good hopefully we'll be able to at least get like you know some some of these security doors done today so it's already like kind of late oh boy that didn't go according to plan at all. Whoopsie. It's all right though. I'm sure we can just take him down easily enough. He's level 40 as well. Holy smokes. I guess if you trigger the systems, like a higher level creature pops out than usual. Makes sense, I suppose, since you're triggering the security systems. <laughs> so that makes a lot more sense. Um, okay. Gosh, there's so many lasers here and everything. It's kind of crazy. All right, now we can go across. <laughs> I was wondering when the laser was going to disappear. All right, let's go ahead then. I don't know if I'm going to get trapped by a laser here or anything. Hopefully not. There is a Cornello doll. Very nice. I think that's the only thing in here though. So let's go through this door right here. That seems like a cool idea. So... I don't know how many like relationship things are gonna come up tomorrow but I'm hopefully I'm hoping like not too many because I want to do there's like some side quests we could stop to do very briefly as well that could be good the shutter shutter is labeled research samples press the switch and it might open a lot of colorful fruits come out nice I'll take it <laughs> that seems handy for sure I think it's just like a bunch of ingredients but still Seems useful. Oh, okay. These just disappear at random times, it seems. Okay, oh, I triggered it. <laughs> Whoopsie. That wasn't too smart, but never mind. <laughs> it's all good. It's not that big of a consequence for, for triggering those, so it's not like that big of a deal, I suppose. All right, there we go. And we get rid of this level 38 omen over here as well. Oh, good. Now we just wait for these doors to open again. And that would be great. Hopefully that big enemy is not coming this way. I don't think he is. We're, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. All good. All right, so maybe this is the first emergency switch. I don't really know. We got some kind of shortcut. There is one room that we didn't go into. I'm wondering if that was something that I needed to do and I didn't. Oh, and there's also a room this way too, which I almost didn't notice so good job I did oh my god the lazy beams are getting crazy now I'm so surprised I managed to avoid all of those because that was a lot of laser beams like an absolute ton of them oh gosh I'm scared to go out there to be honest with you oh no I've triggered everything <laughs> it was bound to happen like seriously there's like so many lasers out there I'm just gonna go in this corner so that it doesn't happen again. I don't want to trigger any more than I already have. So we'll do that. We also really need to 
get some health here. Estinia's gonna die otherwise. That would not be great. Okay. There's one more enemy back there. Be nice if I could lure him down here, but probably not gonna happen. I'm just gonna let Estinia die if she does because she kind of needs to die and come back so she gets like full life that'd be great don't know if that will happen though guess we will see all right come on let me through <laughs> taking so long to let me through there what a pain in the butt what's this press the switch oh there you go now i've unlocked one of the security systems i was wondering where that was we finally found our first one three more to go i do need to go back up to this room at the top though you better stay away from that enemy and I guess that turned off all the lasers as well, right? Definitely looks like there's not very many lasers around now, so maybe now we'll be able to get into this room over here. Oh, there is still some lasers on, unfortunately. I want to get into this room over here, so we're going to have to trigger it. So there's like no way of getting over there otherwise. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to, so. Yep, is what it is. Estinia's probably going to die. I'm just going to let her die. So that she can come back with full health that'd be great and we're going to outrun this arbiter of love in a second uh i just need to get rid of like the security system here so it'll let me through hopefully come on open up come on come on come on there's not any enemies here still is there or is there oh there's one over there that was why it wasn't working. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Feel sleepy, man. It's a 10 o'clock already. I see. Get rid of that guy over there, please. All right, fantastic. Now it should open. Hopefully. Come on, come on. Being attacked by this crazy creature. We don't want that. All right, we're good. We're good. Now we're going to have to trigger it again to get back out again, unfortunately. Or at least I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I could have walked around, actually. I don't really know, but yeah, I'm gonna have to take these guys out now. Oh boy, we're taking a bunch of damage here. I'm poisoned as well, which isn't too great. But luckily we've got plenty of juice, so we're fine. All right, let me out, let me out, let me out. Please let me out, I want to be free. <laughs> Finally. Okay, from here, we should be able to make it back to the very beginning of the area. Oh, there's laser beams and everything that we got to watch out for, unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. Sadly, um, I'm wondering if I should just head home. Actually, yeah, let's just head home. It's already like 11 o'clock. We're not going to be able to spend that much longer out here anyway, so thinking that we might as well just go home, do a bit of crafting... Not that we can really do a whole lot, but we can do a little bit, I think. Anything else? Nope. Can't do anything else over there. What about on this side? Not really. Um, I don't think there's already anything we can craft. I'm just going to head to bed. That could be an idea. It's late anyway. We don't want to overstay our welcome or anything, because that would suck. All right. Day 29. <laughs> Two days until the quietest. All right, so today we have just Bracca's relationship quest and that is all. So I think I might do Bracca's no. quest and... You can't do? Ooh, level two biome. Yeah, I think I'll do Bracca's quest and also one side quest and we'll get back to the exploration in the story area. Sorry for sending this letter out of the blue, but did something happen to Bracca? He's not filled with his usual vim and vigour. Oh, he's like all depressed and stuff because somebody took his revenge for him, right? So that kind of sucks. I don't know how we're going to, you know, make him feel better, but <laughs> it's going to be a kind of depressing, like, you know, storyline to uh, to do here. Unfortunately, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, I feel like. But it is what it is, I suppose. Do we even need to water these? I don't even know if they need watering. Some of them already looked done. So I guess we probably overwatered there. But it's okay. All right, there you go. And a couple down here. And we're all good. Fantastic. What else is done? The lemon juice. 
the cheese very nice we're going to set up some more of these as well of course like we usually do um so let's put how much root juice oh hp regen as well that seems pretty good we'll put those in there we got lemon juice as well which gives us 700 and removes stun and bind as well so that's pretty that's pretty useful i would say not too bad let's just store everything inside here for a second and then we'll see what we've got to work with that would be great okay so let's take out this and this because we're going to set that up again and whatever fruit we've got a lot of oh we've set up the corn as well anything else let's see i guess we'll do paprika again paprika could be could be good we've got corn to put in here and of course we got set up our little machines back here our egg makers and things i think that's more or less everything so that's fantastic put the supplies back in there we go and we're gonna go and sort out the animals they're actually out today because it's not raining or anything happy times there you go little buddies grow big and strong they're already fully grown to be fair but <laughs> You know, you know what I mean. All right, those have only got eight left, so probably should think about making some more of that stuff as well. That'd be great. Okay, put all this in. I feel like we don't really need to keep this wool anymore. Like, probably didn't even need to keep any of it, but I just kept some back just because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so I thought maybe like, you know, you never know when you might need stuff. So I always hoard everything. All right let's harvest Hello, all of this i don't think there's anything else we need there so that's fine okay then so we're gonna go and do bracca's story quest in our gene we've got to go so let's go and tackle that that would be great take it easy take it easy my little dude oh yeah we got the airship travel in the airship by pressing x to open the transport menu and selecting the airship you can land the airship at the landing points found around town and in dungeons. <gasps> we got an airship! Switch transport. Okay. Confirm. <gasps> we got an airship now. That's so cool. I love this thing. It's very awesome. So we can land in Arjean, right? Looks like it. Cool. And then I just walk in. I like that. It seems very handy to get to areas for sure. I think that's going to be super useful. I'm happy about that. Oh, it's too early. It's not even 10 a.m. Should we go do um? Should we go do like a quest, like a side quest first, and then come back to Bracco? Because like it's not open, and I feel like I could be using my time to do something else. That's if the temple is open. If the temple is open, we'll do the quest up here. So there's actually another quest in Bracco's hideout as well. So we could go do this quest while we're waiting for Brecker's quest to open up. By the time we've done this, hopefully it'll be it'll be available. Oh me, oh my, this is quite the pickle. <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with her. What in the heavens should I do? Is it that bad? She seems really posh, doesn't she? Oh Mousy, what can I do for you today? Is this the girl who made the snowmen before? I think it might be the same one. Oh my, is it that obvious? That's a little embarrassing, but you're right. A thief came to me and I've been thinking about how to help them. Hmm, a thief, huh? Okay, that does sound like a pickle. What can I do to help? It truly is. I've been puzzling about it non-stop, but I haven't had a single good idea. Well, let me, um, you know, save the day. That is why they come in in the first place, to confess their sins and beg forgiveness. That is why I want to help them in any way that I can. All right, what do they steal? I don't actually know what they stole. In the confessional, they just kept begging forgiveness over and over. I never learned what they stole, nor who they stole from. So it's not quite as simple as asking them to return whatever it was to whomever it belonged to. Hmm, I wish it were that easy. Okay, maybe ask them. You're not allowed to, are you? You're right, there must be a reason for all of this. Mosey, I know what I need to do next. I'm going to meet with the thief again and ask them for more details. I'll be back in a while. I thought in confessionals you were only allowed to listen and not allowed to really say too much, but I don't know. Not this again. It's Clary's supervisor. Must you announce my appearance at every given opportunity? Yeah. 
<laughs> I do actually. Where is Clary off to? Are you her mum or what? <laughs> when will she ever learn? I'm sorry, but I must ask a favour of you. Go watch over her and make sure she doesn't get in into any trouble. Okay. Only because I have to clean up the mess if anything goes awry. Will you do it or not? Of course. I would prefer to go, but there seems to have been trouble at the temple. Okay, what what kind of trouble are we talking about here? <laughs> I don't know. Start by asking if anyone knows where she went. Okay, we can do that. Seems easy enough to do. Okay, let's mark it, let's track it so we know exactly where we're going. And this will kill some time before the Braca quest. And then after this, we will most likely continue exploring. We go to Snow Hut Square, first of all. So that will lead us to the the town centre. Uh, but yeah, after we've done this in the Braca quest, we'll do some more exploration in the in the Castle of Illusion, and then like, you know, next day we'll do like whatever relationship quest and then the other side quest, because there's like one more in this town, I think. Sister Clary, yes I know her. The girl from the confessional, right? Although I'd consider it more like a counsellor's office than a confessional. <laughs> it didn't mean I didn't mean anything bad by that. It's a blessing. That girl is always doing her best to help the people of this town. Have I seen her? <laughs> Worry not. She's around here somewhere, helping someone in need. So, that was kind of a very vague response though. She didn't actually tell us specifically where she was, but just that she was still in the town, I guess. I guess that's better than no clues, <laughs> I suppose. I was searching for her, I saw her showing some traveller around not too long ago. Okay. Oh my god, he wants to confess his love to her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, she's got, um... I don't know if priests can engage in that kind of relationship, can they? Maybe I'm thinking about nuns. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure here. I'm not sure what her restrictions are as a priest. You're looking for the sister. You saw her not long ago. She headed out of town with some other lady. She's probably off on a mission. Okay. So she went out of town. So that's not too great. <laughs> but hopefully we will get to find her. That'd be great. I wonder if that girl's okay. I just saw that girl from the confessional leave town with the, with a woman. They said, said that she's going to Silent Cave. Okay. Got to go catch up to her in Silent Cave. That makes sense. Okay then. Well, definitely Bracker's place is definitely going to be open after this because they open at 10. Basically 10 o'clock now, so that's good. All right, how far in... Okay, she's not that far into this area, so should be able to just hightail it up there and hopefully we'll get some nice seeds for doing this quest as well. I nearly walked into that. There was a hole right in front of me. I only just evaded it. <laughs> Good job I noticed it beforehand because that would have sucked. <laughs> it's okay though. Well, why are you doing this? <laughs> what does it matter? You'll die here regardless. Why does everyone try to kill you in Silent Cave like every time? Is that is that because it's called Silent Cave or like oh no one will hear you here. <laughs> What's this? Who are you? Bleh, no matter. One more person doesn't really change anything. You can die here together. Why does she want to kill a priest for? What would she gain from doing that? That's what I want to know. I can never understand these wacky townspeople. They're a bunch of weirdos. I have no idea. But yeah, this isn't the first time someone's tried to destroy someone in the silent cave they should put a sign up here no murdering people in silent cave <laughs> no sicking monsters on people in this beyond this point <laughs> they should definitely put a sign like that up that'd be nice all right there we go done easy this is nothing for adventurer mosey <laughs> i've got many adventurers behind me. You're welcome, Sister Clary. I dread to think what have, what would have happened if you hadn't arrived. Yeah, what happened? What what was going on here? Tell me everything. I approached the thief and asked for more details regarding the theft and she asked me to follow her here, but why would she want to take my life? Maybe you know too much. Uh, we'll make her tell us. I agree. She wants to know why. Okay, so... 
We're catching up with the thief to make her tell us everything. So uh, she's actually still in the cave. So she didn't get very far, did she? I guess she's a bit of a slow poke, I suppose. I don't know. I feel like she could have left by now. <laughs> but hey, who knows? All right, let's see her confess for real. Finally found the entrance. Did she get lost? Maybe she did. How did those two turn out, I wonder? It's a shame I couldn't stick around to witness their demise. Wow. Did the monsters eat them whole, or did they tear them to bits? Oof. That's a bit, like, dark. Oh, and anyway, back to Arjean. Wait. I, I'm still alive. <laughs> of course. You're kidding. Why are you both still alive? Multi saved me. The hell? Those monsters should be chewing on your bones right now. Well, they're not. <laughs> so, too bad. <laughs> too bad for you. Yeah, why did you try to murder her? After everything you said before about repenting for your sins, was it all a lie? Hmm. Fine, if you're so desperate to know, there's no point in keeping it a secret. Okay, what I told you back at the confessional was the truth. I want to make amends. Because of all the trouble you went to track me down. What? The item I stole? It was the contents of the church donation box. Oof. Ouch. You don't steal from churches. I just really wanted that money. But then I remembered all the children that grow up in that church. As soon as I realised how they rely on that money, well, I couldn't help but feel completely rotten. Phew. I bet. So I went to the confessional. Figured I'd turn myself in. I remember I could sense how strongly you regretted what you'd done. But when I met you, I realised, what if I framed it to make it look like you stole the money? Oh my god, your depravity knows no bounds. A sister of the temple, overcome with guilt, takes her own life in shame. It's not so unbelievable, is it? That's why you targeted her. That's just sad. But it was all for naught, wasn't it? You felled my monsters and left me with nothing else up my sleeve. So you're giving yourself up? She can't have really repented that much if then she like went out of her way to like try to blame it on Clary. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like she didn't repent that that much. She must have just, I don't know, dramatised it. Who knows? Very well. I rest I'll restrain you and take you back to Arjun myself. Okay then. Mosi, I'll be fine on my own. Please visit me later. Okay, that's a kind of sad story. Why did she need the money so bad for? It never actually, like, went into that. Did she actually have a good reason for wanting the money? Or was she just being greedy? I'm guessing that she was desperate. Like, you wouldn't steal money from a church unless you were desperate, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe some people would do it if they weren't desperate. <laughs> maybe some people would just do it because they just see money. I really don't know, but... You would like to think that she only did it because she was absolutely desperate and would die without it or something. Like, you, like I, at least I hope it, like, is like that. <laughs> I don't know, though. All right, Clary, we finished the quest line then. Let's turn the, the last bit in for this one. There we go. Morsi, that criminal is currently in our custody. Okay. That's all you could do. I'm afraid. Kind of sucks that this is the outcome of it. But what can you do? You got something else to say to me? Why did you change your mind? You were ready to, to turn yourself in. What changed? Huh, good question. I guess it's because a bleeding heart like you made for an easy target. I couldn't help myself. Really? Enough talk. We've got a cell waiting for you. Yes, yes, whatever you say. Man, it must be hard being a priest. How calamitous for her to use the confessional for such an evil scheme. It may be time to reconsider your placement at the confessional. Wait, what? Are you alright, Clary? She's too good for this world. She's got a very pure soul. <laughs> Thank you for worrying about me, Marcy, but I'm okay. Clary, no. You should take some respite. That's an order. I'm touched. I didn't know you were worried about me so much, but really, I'm fine. I was surprised by it all. Don't get me wrong, but I'm I'm honestly okay. I'll return to the confessional now. There are still many people praying for forgiveness. Oh boy. I wonder if she's taking too much, yeah, <laughs> pushing herself too hard. 
I'll force Clary to take a rest later. Might be an idea. For now, I must express my gratitude. Okay, without you, Clary would likely no longer be with us. I'm sorry to burden you, but I hope you'll continue to stand by her. Of course. You know, I, I want my free seeds. <laughs> Pepper and eggplant seeds. And money as well. As long as she keeps providing me with grilla and seeds, I'm going to be there every step of the way. <laughs> now, how do I explain this one? Hmm. Oh, that was the dude talking. Um, Like, how is he going to explain this to like the rest of the, the people in the order, I, I guess? <laughs> it's going to be a... A wacky storyline to explain, I suppose? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do Bracker's questline and then we're going to hop to it and explore some more Castle of Illusion. That, I think, would be a great idea. And of course there is also one quest in this, um, in, in this, like, inn, I think, but I don't know where it is. It doesn't need to be done right now anyway. It's fine. Anyway, let's go see Bracker, see what he's up to. Multi, will you ever get tired of bothering me? No. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's like really depressed because his revenge kill was taken from him, right? The innkeeper worries too much. I don't know what you were expecting, but if it was to find me at death's door, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, okay, you look bored. You want to do something? <laughs> Let's go on a date. <laughs> In all my life on this planet, I think this might be the first time I've ever experienced boredom. Hmm. He's always kept himself busy. What? Is it really that bizarre seeing me with nothing to do? How about I give you a quest? <laughs> I don't know. Have you lost your drive? He's lost, lost his reason for being. That's a good way to put it. With Amadeus dead and out of the way, I don't feel like doing anything else. Strange, isn't it? After dedicating my entire life to getting revenge, this is what I become the minute I find out he's dead. Hmm. Why did you want revenge? I'm pretty sure it's something to do with, like, his village. I guess there's no reason to keep it from you anymore. Alright, let's get the whole story. I'm warning you, though. It's not a feel-good kind of story. Yeah, I can imagine. Not like that would stop you from pressing the subject, huh? Nope. <laughs> I want to know anyway. So I was born in a really small village. Not much different from the settlement we were at before. Everyone in the village was family. It was just that kind of place. Okay, so a peaceful place until Amadeus came. And it was a lot of fun too. My childhood friend, Claude, the chief's daughter, Ina, the twins, Lot and Tori, my big brother, Bedol, taught me how to hunt. We were all really close. I thought a life like ours would last forever. Sounds nice. But everyone died. Amadeus and Kierkegaard made sure of that when they attacked our home. Oh, so Kirkadard. Oh, okay, that makes sense why he act like that in the, um, in the story, in the main storyline. Okay. Okay, and that's why you want revenge. That makes sense. By the time I realised what was going on, it was already too late. My house, my parents, my friends, those guys devoured all of them. Except for me. Only I survived. Mercenaries hellbent on hunting the Hallowed turned up at the village. They were able to wound Kierkegaard and forced him to flee the village alongside Amadeus. So, you were the only one they saved. That sucks. What, you missed that part? I told you I was the only survivor. I kept asking myself why. I couldn't get it out of my head. Why was I the only one left? The next thing to fill my head was revenge and how I was going to get it. You know what came after that? I became a mercenary and dedicated my life to hunting those guys. I see, so he just needs to find a new purpose, right? So that's why he became a mercenary. I already told you it was the only path I could take. I was never schooled. I had no skills. There wasn't anywhere else a homeless brat like me could turn. To be fair, I didn't really put much thought into it. I just needed money and power. Quick. I see, so what will you do now? That's the big question. <laughs> I can't chase Amadeus anymore. You need to find a new calling. What do you think I should do, Malsy? What's left for a guy with nothing left after his dream of revenge has been snatched away from him? I'm lost. What the hell should I do now? What is there to live for? What is left? Hmm, that's a tough one because he doesn't have any family or 
friends left, like aside from from us, I guess. Um, you just need to find his his new his new purpose, his new goal, right? Let's find a reason to live together. A reason to live, huh? Yeah, we'll find it. I'm sure of it. Mhm. Mm Do you need a reason to live, though? You probably don't. You're sure, huh? That's some confidence. I guess there's no harm in trusting you. What else have I got to lose? Hmm. Okay then, well, he's gonna go on this journey of enlightenment and we are gonna help him get there, so that's gonna be nice, I think. Okay then, I think we're done here for now. We're gonna go ahead and continue with the exploration of the Castle of Illusion. There's actually like only one more quest left in this town, but we'll save it for the next time. We don't need to do it all at once after all, so yeah, that'll be fine. Anyways, here we go, back to the Castle of Illusion, and of course it's gonna be about one o'clock by the time we get there, so a little bit of time to explore. Enough, I would say. It's good, about half a day, which is probably about normal, I would say. So yeah, good stuff. Look at all these areas. <laughs> so many areas uh, to this location. And yeah, we did do the first little bit, the first security section. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one underneath this time. So we'll explore this little bit here. So then all the right side would be done, hopefully. There is also another level to this area. What on earth is going on in this room? The path will open to those who visit spring, summer, fall and winter. Oh, are these the sea slides? I'm guessing. That's Shatola, isn't it? An alarm is blaring. Oh, am I supposed to be fighting these? I don't know if I'm doing this right, but okay. <laughs> I'm here for it. Why not? Okay, get rid of the earth element, get rid of the wind element, I'm running out of stamina, I'm gonna have to use something, I'll just use a mountain stir fry will do. I'm only really using it for the stamina anyway, so should be fine. Get rid of the fire element, there we go. So, is that done? Like, oh, was I supposed to do it in order? What order did it say? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring. Hmm. <laughs> it's hard to work out which is which. Maybe it's this one. You touch the spring. Okay, spring. What was it next? Summer, wasn't it? Spring, summer, fall, winter. Spring, summer. I'm guessing this is summer. Summer. Fall would be this one. And winter. Did I do that? Did I do that right? Apparently I did. <laughs> so that worked out. All right, and now we can proceed. There was a little puzzle. First time we've ever had like a little puzzle going on. So that's cool. All right, and that's that done. Unfortunately, the door here is locked. The four demons nest, one emerged from the earth, one locked in ice, one wandering in heavens, one slumbering in a mountain stream. Do I have to defeat these demons to open this door? Okay, I'm not exactly sure how you go about getting past that door, but it doesn't look like that's something I am able to unlock right this moment. So I guess maybe you're supposed to come back and do that some other time. I don't really know. Anyway, that was probably like the fastest one ever. <laughs> that was a super fast one. Now we just have to do the two doors on the other side. So let's hop to it. See if we can get rid of some more creatures. Hornets. We got melee type 2 omens. Sure be able to get rid of those. I'm going to use my big power up. There we go. Good stuff. Very nice. Okay, so that door's locked. So only one way for us to go. Nothing else in here. Oh boy, we got some lasers. Just hop over those easily enough. There we are. Fantastic. Be a bit of a pain if we like, you know, accidentally uh, <laughs> triggered those every time. Take me all night to get through these uh, doors otherwise. But that's okay. We got this. Hop over that one. Easy peasy. We got this. All right, some more omens to deal with. But nothing that we haven't already dealt with so far. So we should be fine. Surprised these omens didn't come and attack me, how close I was to them, but that's alright. Hey, yeah! And the last one. 
range type 2 omen. He's gonna use the little gun at the top. But we're all good. There we go. Perfect. Onwards, friends. Let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had to jump over it like right now, but to wait a little bit, I suppose. Jump back over. Oh, oh, <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> I should have just stayed on the side or something. I don't know. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Get some healing in for my party members. Though they're probably going to die anyway, but it's all good. All right, now we can head through. Just got to wait for the door to open. Come on, it takes a little while to respond to, like, the enemies being defeated. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, honestly. All right, that's all that done. And so we have the mechanism. Yay! We're getting close now. There's a little shortcut here. Where does this go? I don't think I went through this door, actually. Let's have a little look. Oh, my God. We got another one of... Uh, one of these crazy things. I pressed the wrong button. You know what? We're just going to run over, grab the chest. Oh, I have to kill the enemies before I can leave though, don't I? I have to kill these annoying creatures. I might actually kill the juggernaut anyway, just because it's kind of a cool enemy. I kind of just, I like it. <laughs> it's a cool dude. Let's go and get rid of this dude as well. All right, there you go. We need to get out of that quick. Oh my gosh, I'm feared. Yep, we're all feared. <laughs> Fantastic. Should get rid of the little melee guy first. Because he's going to be a pain. The alarm won't go off until we kill him. So <laughs> it's kind of annoying. We definitely want that to go off. All right. Come on, guys. Kill that juggernaut. We got this. All right. And I can use another one of these. He's going to use an AoE and I'm going to be stuck in the middle of it. Dang it! Because <laughs> I was, I was like casting. No black mage problems. <laughs> it's like, like that's what happens when you, when you play Final Fantasy XIV and you're stuck in the cast. <laughs> Sad times. It's okay. We nearly got him now, so we are nearly there. Asiel got feared over there, but he's all right. You know, I completely forgot to put Arya back in the team. I probably will do that. I don't really care who's in the team, though, to be fair. Like, doesn't really make that much of a difference. He didn't even drop anything after all of that. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I was hoping that he would actually drop an item or something, but nope, apparently not. All right, this is the final security system. And then we can actually, like, make a little bit of progress and head through that door. Or at least hopefully. I hope that this is a kind of short one. Because it's taking quite a long time just to get through this one door. Okay. Definitely needed to use a bit of healing there. These enemies are a pain. That's alright though. Come on guys, on guard. Take them all out. Give them what for. Perfect. Alright, through this door since this is the, the only way for us to go right now. Oh, there's a big monster through here for us to deal with. Do we want to fight the enemies in here? I feel like we could just we can't this one. head through the door, can we not? Can I not head through the door? Really? Do I have to fight it? What if I just attack it and then like move it away from the door? No? Oh no, I actually have to fight that thing to make it through. But it's a level 50 enemy. What? <laughs> That's a bit insane. And I've decided to fight these all at the same time, which is probably not the best idea, but... Like, whatever. <laughs> I've already done it now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fight this level 50 enemy by the looks of it. Maybe we can do it. Maybe I'm just, you know, being a bit of a wimp or something. I don't know. Let's have a sandwich. Sandwich should do the job. That poison very spicy do not like that poison attack it hurts a lot like, holy moly okay ouch 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 the pain the pain it's gonna give us a regen as well so that's good yeah this guy hurts a lot really really painful that poison is no joke oh boy 
gone like halfway already. I don't know if this was worth it. Because we could just walk through the door at this point if we want to. I don't know if this is worth it or not. I have no idea. I'm going for it. I've already like done so much damage. I might as well just like go for the kill at this point. Okay, come on guys. Come on. I've eaten through so much. So much healing items. But whatever. Come on guys, go, go. Am I going to run out by the time like... I feel like I'm gonna run out of healing items at this rate but we're so close we've almost taken him down go guys go ouch painful that's it I'm out of healing items all right we did it we did it I got a waterproof ring nice that was an endeavor we should probably go back after this because um yeah like I don't have much healing items now, so might be an idea. I'm surprised that didn't attack me. <laughs> I went right next to it, and apparently it just didn't care, so I mean, I guess that's cool. Let's grab that as well. We gotta get through this door. I'm gonna have to move him out of the way, which is gonna be annoying. Come on, let's move him out of the way. I'm not fighting that one. Like, I don't want to fight another one. Is he out? Can I get behind him? Nope! Oh, I died! No! No! <laughs> Those things are tough! Holy moly! That sucks! We did make quite a bit of progress though. Just the stupid enemy was blocking the doorway, so that sucked a little bit. <laughs> it's been a while since we collapsed, I suppose, but it's fine. It happens. <laughs> I should have brought out some more juice. But it's fine. How much money um, are you charging me then? Let's have a look. Okay, 900. Not the best, but you know, it's okay. It's all good. Okay, so we are going to take out some juice. I've got quite a lot of juice, to be honest. I've just hoarded it all. So it's just the way it goes. See you later. Anyway, we should have some more relationship quests and things like that. What have we got going on today? Now that I have returned home, I, home even, I'm beginning to realise the severity of the situation I was in. How terrible. Who knows where I'd be now if you hadn't arrived when you did. But that does not mean I'm going to change my ways. I may dislike such scary encounters, but I dislike liars even more. Anyway, that is all from me. I hope you will visit the temple again. Okay then. The sect of the anti-mother continues to do as they please around the holy capital, and that alone is sowing the seeds of distrust towards the order. So, um, we're going to do something to suppress the activities of the anti-mother in the next part of the Shrika quest. And we only have one quest. It looks like we're just going to get, like, one daily now. One quest popping up, what it's going to, like, alternate between Shrika and Bracca from what I'm seeing. So, that might be what we end up doing. That's okay, though. Okay, let's do the farm chores. Quite a lot of things to collect here. So, that's good. Very nice. What if those like bellhop seeds just don't run out? So they just don't seem to be, do they? It's a good thing though. It's a good thing, of course. We want them to keep going. But I noticed that even the stuff that is reharvestable eventually does run out at Think some point. Lovelies. But I haven't noticed that with the bellhop seeds just yet, so I'm wondering if they do. I don't know. Alright. Let's water all of these. Good stuff. Let's see what else we got going on here. All our machines seem to be done. Which is great. Okay, let's put some stuff away then. Okay, actually, let's sell the cheese and the mayo. And just kind of dump everything in here for now. Just because I just got stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's going to get confusing. Oh, I got some mayo in here as well. I'm going to... Get rid of the mayo. Let's get rid of all the cheese too. Let's get rid of all the cheese. I don't know if I need any, but I'm just kind of recuperate my losses since we just lost quite quite a bit <laughs> from dying, unfortunately. But it's all right. Okay then. So we're gonna make a paprika one right there. I'll make a lemon one, I guess, because I didn't have enough paprika. So 
I thought that would be for the best. All right, and we also need something to put into the machine. So if I got any grass, yeah, let's put some grass in the machine. There we go, perfect. And now we just need to go and, you know, get the goods from, from the animals and then chores are mostly done for today. We'll have to go check the cave biome as well. So I did have some stuff growing at the cave biome to check out too, so that'd be good. Didn't I have something to put in one of these boxes? I think I had some like feed or something. I don't know which side it was for. Maybe I put it back away. Maybe I did. I'll just put it in there tomorrow. Not a big deal or anything. It's all good. Okay. Put this away. Do we need to keep these feathers? Because like I feel like I got quite a lot of them now. Yeah. And seven of those. We could probably start selling these now. Get a bit more money. That'd be great. Because money is not looking too great for us. Um, well, I mean, we got 10,000, but, like, I kind of want to get some upgrades. Like, that'd be really nice. Okay, I've got some peppers. Shove those in there. Good stuff. All right, then. I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Bye -bye. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it'd be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.